What's up, everyone on the internet? Thank you for making this very part. I'm so excited to up this one for you guys because this is going to be my very first Ultra Sabers review. If you've watched any of my Star Wars related videos, you'll probably notice that I sometimes pull out a lightsaber during the video. And those lightsabers were purchased from one little website called Ultra Sabers. So I thought, hey, I got a few lightsabers lying around. Let's just review them. And today we'll be taking a look at the very first lightsaber I ever bought, which is the Apprentice V4 lightsaber. So here are my overall thoughts about this particular lightsaber, and I hope this video helps you out when you're purchasing your lightsaber from Ultra Sabers. So this is pretty much your standard lightsaber from Ultra Sabers, and if you're starting off new, meaning that you've never gotten a lightsaber from them before, I highly recommend you get this kind of lightsaber. It's good in price, and actually it's pretty good. Uh, you get some good swings out of it. And when you look at the size, the hilt measures at around 10 inches long, while the blade measures at around 32 inches long. And when you add the math up together, the total length of the lightsaber is actually going to be around 40 to 42 inches because remember you do have to screw in the blade. And what's great about the 32 inch blade is that it's actually really good for swinging and spinning around. And it's good for practicing a lot of uh, different moves that you see in the movies or if you want to try something else. Now this saber is also powered by four AAA batteries. And you can find it right here at the back end of the lightsaber which I will screw off right now. And as you can see, here are the AAA batteries. And one thing to note is that when you're spinning this thing around, uh, there is a tendency that the batteries will bump up and down against the lightsaber. Uh, it's nothing to worry about because honestly, it's very well protected. And you may want to change the batteries every uh, now and then because you'll notice it when your lightsaber uh, begins to die down, meaning that the color will not be as bright as it used to be. And that's what I thought because originally I had this lightsaber for a long time and I noticed that the light was dying down. Originally I thought it was a bulb issue, but when I put in new batteries, it actually made the lightsaber bright and made it look brand new. Now this saber is considered as a sun saber, meaning that there is no sound in it whatsoever. And for that, the starting price for this particular lightsaber is at $65. If you want to add sound to it, the price starts at $165. Now, one of the things you need to consider with this lightsaber is the grip, because with all lightsabers, you want to make sure you have a nice, firm, comfortable grip so that you can have it and you can swing around at a very comfortable pace. And as you can see, the handle is pretty nice and pretty comfortable. But what I also love is actually uh, the edge of the hilt, where there's a little gap here where you can uh, wrap your hand around it and you can spin without touching the button or affecting like it turning on or off. Now with this saber, you should also know that you do have an option to add window emitters. I don't know why I didn't add them the first time, but I guess I wanted a more cheaper lightsaber because I was starting off brand new. And when you do add the emitters, it is like an extra of five or $10. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing this lightsaber. So that's gonna do it for this video guys. That was my overall review for the Apprentice V4 lightsaber. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button so you can get all these updates from this channel. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye-bye.